Welcome, Goglings, Gogorifics, Gog Peoples, Gogs of the World Unite. Welcome to a Tuesday stream. It is March 21st, 2023. It's 105 p.m. Eastern, starting in uh, right on time, I'm very happy to say. And it is episode 368 of Pen and Pixels. I am your host, Arvin Elleron. This is the show that focuses on story and narrative every Tuesday um, and runs either from 4.15 to 7.15 p.m. Eastern or from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, depending on what's going on on my channel. And this is one of those latter situations because uh, today on my channel at 5 p.m. Eastern, we will get back into the uh, Free League-sponsored Shire Adventures. I am very excited about this campaign, which is just getting started basically just underway and if you uh, love the work of Professor Tolkien and you would like to see uh, more shenanigans with halflings and an occasional man of Bree um, then you should stop by and check that out at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, on this very channel we do a lot of D&D as well and next week uh, we will be here at 4 15 p.m. Eastern um, for D&D with GOG Ghosts of Saltmarsh which is well overdue. We wanted to play this a long time ago but for a variety of factors have not been able to yet but now of course we are uh, finally back to it so I'm excited to be able to do that next week and today that means that we have got more of a game I've been having a lot of fun with and that is Chained Echoes. Before I go any further though just a couple of quick reminders about ways to support us here on GOGCOM's Twitch channel. If you haven't done so already please follow us here on GOGCOM. If you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to us here on GOGCOM's Twitch channel because you get those custom sub badges uh, DRM free to use here there and everywhere across Twitch and you also of course support the streamers when you do that. And we are all very appreciative of that. And if you haven't already done so, consider clicking through to our individual channels because we have our own individual subsystems and Patreons and all that kind of good stuff. And all of that is always very much appreciated. And um, it is a very, very nice day uh, out where I am um, here in uh, southern Connecticut uh, in the United States. Uh, it is a pretty day, lots of light, um, and you can feel spring in the air. You can definitely feel spring in the air, um, and I believe actually today, right, if I'm not mistaken, today is the first official day of spring, so winter is over, um, and, I, and like I say, winter, you know, was pretty much a dud, um, very little snow, uh, which was too bad for the kids, and I would have liked to have a little bit of snow, you know, just a touch, but we didn't have any of it. The good news, though, is that that means that the kids basically had one school day um, that they have been canceled, and that's probably, I'm guessing, Guessing. I mean, I guess you could still maybe get a week or two more, I guess, of possible snow weather, but it's unlikely. So pretty much this is it, and that means that the kids are going to have like one extra day, and that's it. So that means both son uh, and daughter will be off of school at a reasonable time in June, so that'll be good for them. Um, yeah, I guess, is that true? Is it, the, is it, I always thought it was the 21st, because today is the vernal equinox, right? And, but it's, but yesterday is actually the first day of spring. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it definitely feels a little bit like it. It definitely feels a little bit like it. So we are here in spring, and what better way to celebrate spring than to uh, try to save the world from um, disaster, um, which is what's happening within Chain Deco. So um, with that said, let me just fire up this. Good to see you all. As you can all see, uh, I am here and ready to go. I am wearing my uh, one of my favorite new shirts from the last year, my D20 Dragon D20 die, which I will be uh, dealing with more of as we go through. But um, but yeah, I am excited to be here and excited to uh, get back into some more Chained Echoes. Big day of streaming today for me. Chained Echoes here, then I'll be over, as I said, on my channel at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, playing some Shire Adventures. And then tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, another GOG game uh, with the Our Vocalists as Rem Alternus and Zach Clay uh, bring to you their amazing voice work of Citizen Sleeper as we're moving into the home stretch of that really excellent game um, from, uh, well, from, it's on available on different platforms, but I'm obviously playing the GOGCOM version of it. Um, so yeah, that's at 9 p.m. tonight. So big day of streaming, which I'm, I'm sort of basically placing in between all of my, uh, all of my uh, grading uh, that I have to do right now. So there's a lot of that going on as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm very excited for that, and I hope you folks are as well. And with no further ado, I am going to slide on over here to uh, my computer, to my gaming computer, and get stuff fired up. Uh, we have hit the 20 hour mark. We will actually pass 21 hours today. Um, I think about, actually, we'll pass 22 hours today, I believe, um, uh, of a game that I've really been enjoying a great deal. And my understanding is that there's going to be other stuff. 
um, coming soon with this in terms of like mechs and things like that. I will say that over the next few weeks, there may be a couple of uh, sessions of pen and pixels that are video game based that will not be based on this. I'm probably going to be doing one or two uh, either uh, release streams um, for one thing and then... There is floating in the background the fact that the Celasta DLC is out there in the ether that will be coming soon. Uh, I, I'm going to try to resist. I will do everything I can to resist the temptation. But I don't know, chat. I mean, Celasta, you all know how I feel about this game. I, I, I may feel the need, the desperate desire to actually play it. So we'll see if that's true. But, um, but anyway, for right now, though, we continue with the amazing Chain Deco. So let's do it. Power of chain. Were you modded just then, Triffid? Like, did did that did that did you get uh, did your stuff get censored for some reason? Uh, where are we? Okay, we are in Leviathan's trench. Yes. Uh, no, because I want to make sure. Fifteen fifty one thirty. Okay, it is that one. Oh, uh, what were you? You had posted a link to my calendar. Ah. You know what? Let me see if I can, um, let me try this again. All right, try now. Try now, uh, Triffid. And thank you for doing that also. Okay. Yes, let me remember what I was doing. Uh... Got my reward board going on. And if I can get to 32, I'll get another sacred water, which would be super useful. So it's... Oh, man. The firing couple would really help with that. Three more mountain bibbies would be cool, too. Um, I should do some of this off-stream, actually. Because this stuff is basically just fetch questy, and I could probably do that. What? What the heck? Just hang on a second. There. I'll do it. <laughs> um, thank you, Trippin. Apologies. I don't know. Moobot is getting a little bit over uh, dramatic in terms of its uh, its links. So, but thank you for doing that. Uh, and yes, for those of you who don't know, by the way, Triffid is not only an amazing mod and awesome person and, and all that sort of thing, but also is uh, now working with me, uh, assisting me and stuff relating to channel and a little bit of writing stuff as well. And so is handling like scheduling and things like that, which is wonderful. So um, anyway, uh, Triffid is uh, awesome. And you should, and if you need something similar, you should also hire Triffid for all of your awesome assisting needs. Um, but you're not allowed to uh, take Trippid uh, before Trippid does stuff for me because, you know, then I would be sad and would not have an assistant anymore. <laughs> um, no, seriously, Trippid is awesome, so just letting you know. Okay, um, paralyze the same enemy. So I may have more of these things with Leviathan's Trench. The reason that I want the Sacred Water is because the Sacred Water gives you... The Grimoire Shard obviously is useful too. The Sacred Water, though, also allows you to pray um, and get class emblems, which are incredibly useful. So um, I need to make sure that I do some of this. These forest worms are very hard, so I'll have to level a bit for this. I haven't found any hidden caves. I need to explore more of the area, you know, like little things like this. But being able to do more of these um, so that I can get up to that link, I've already got it. Honestly, if I got this, which would not be easy, but if I got that, an encounter against the scorpion, right? That would link me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then if I could link this, one more collectible, and three more alpha wolves, then it would be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, plus all of these. So I'd be up to 38 at that point. I'm almost be next to the Grimoire Shard. So it'd be super useful. So we will see. But right now we are in the main quest area. Um, and yeah. Again. Oh, 
big ups once again to the um, big ups once again to the music in this. All right, let's roll. Right. Okay. One of these is weak. I remember this. One of these is weak to fire, and one of them is weak to water. So. Can't steal from either one. All right, let's go after the red wine here. Hey, what's up, Gregory Atlas? Welcome. That's not good. Uh, okay. Do not like that. Let's get the heal. Let's get this move going. Again, uh, you want to do the ultra move. Don't be afraid of using the ultra move if you're playing this game early in a fight because fights take long enough that you'll build up your bar faster than you think and it's worth doing under those circumstances. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's armor break you. Okay, and I would like a water thrust for you because you are weak to that. Kaboom. 312 is what I'm talking about. So, let's see, uh, I don't need armor break here, so, nice, I'm gonna kill you, bye bye, time to heal all, hey what's up Matt, uh, I don't believe there were release dates for those as of yet, um, but, uh, other than to say the very not helpful, it is coming soon. I'm excited for those too, the silver box ones. Um, I played, uh, I've obviously, back in the day, I played all of these. Um, more recently, I streamed on my channel a few years ago, the gold box of Pools of Radiance. Um, I like these games. They, I do, I did get frustrated because I lost, like the save game got corrupted and that was very frustrating because of the way that the whole thing works. Um, but especially with some of the quality of life stuff, the uh, mapping system you can attach to the gold box are cool as well. I don't think back in the day I played all the silver box ones. I played, you know, like Pools of Radiance, I played Cursed Azure Bonds, I played um, Hillsfar, I played... Uh, this is not counting like Eye of the Beholder and stuff like that, but I mean in terms of the, you know, top-down isometric uh, type of stuff. Um, I played probably Dragon Queen of Crin or whatever that one is. So I've played some of these, but I don't know as much of the silver one. So, yeah, definitely a good variety. Uh, right. Very good. Early Tsunami, huh? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's give you an all slash. And have a fire thrust. That's right. So you can see that by the time this fight is over, and this fight hasn't even lasted all that long, by the time this fight is over, uh, I probably should heal all just in case. By the time this fight is over, uh, I will be almost all, I'll be halfway through on my ultra move already. So it just doesn't make sense to hoard it the way you would in other JRPGs. Holding on to this is not helpful in that context. Um, So it usually makes sense to do as what I just did um, to make these things work. Uh, um, but it makes sense, therefore, to use your ultra move at the beginning of a fight. If it's a simple fight that you don't think you'll have any trouble with, then you know it's probably not a big deal. But I often find. Oh, you can do both. Okay. This is one of those deals where you're jumping straight across. Um, considering that it's a resource balancing thing a little bit, you can get done with it rather more quickly. Although I will say that the fact that the game sets it up so that you are able to um, play, uh, so that you're able to, after every fight, get all of your stuff back, which I really like, means you don't have to worry as much about the resource management point of things. But still. Ooh, interesting. 
So... Right. I like a lot of the map design in this game as well. Oh, a sacred water. That's what I was just talking about needing uh, to be able to pray to for various class emblems. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. I like the map design of this that allows you um, to see aspects of the map in different components of it. So you're in one end of it, like for example, down here, right, I came up here and I could see that there's something there, which now allows me to make my way around the outside. This is a very simple version of that, but there are many other more subtle versions in the outdoor maps, uh, in the um, over overworld maps, where you can basically see sections that you should be able to get to, theoretically. Um, and I like that rather than the whole, I guess I'll go right because I don't know where else to go type of thing, uh, which is not optimal. Ooh, and I should also save. Also, save everywhere for the win. Sign me up for saving everywhere. In accordance with the prophecy. Shaman's robe, that's nice, but I already have shaman's robes on everybody. Man, that that thing down there is making me twitch, man. I there's something. There may be nothing there, but it's probably not. It's probably nothing. We got a seahorse, we got other things, okay. Well, we got this saved, so let me save it again since I just got that other chest. Alright, let's dance. What the hell is that? Seahorse Knight. Get rid of... Let's get rid of that seahorse knight if we can. Strong against water. Let's break the water. about what that guy's going to do to Victor. Um, it's a good thing I did that then. Okay. Uh, right. So... Ow. Okay. Time to heal all. Storm active. I like to see that. Okay, you're up next. That's okay. Whoops. 
Whoops, whoops, whoops. Overheat's a problem. I gotta deal with the overheat issue. Overheat is a big problem. Uh, let's see. This is interesting. Um... Here's a situation where we're late enough in the fight that I don't know that I want to use Ultra Move now, unless I have to. But I do want to definitely get out of... That was a mistake. Okay, that's okay. Worked out. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now... We're in Overdrive, which is fine. I think it'll be okay. I want to drop the overdrive further and then, because she's healing automatically anyway. Okay. Very weak. Ah. That's unfortunate. Probably won't matter, though. Because we're going to finish it off in a minute anyway. We'll awaken Spirit on Sienna. This is probably fine. It doesn't matter. Um, she's going to do this time anyway. Nice. There we go. Much better. So now I have that, now that I have the uh, ultra move up and ready to go, that means in the next fight, if it looks like it's going to be a tough fight, we lead off with that immediately. Kind of see where things go. Um, I'm not sure what the value of that fight was otherwise, however. It didn't come this way, so I'm making sure that I didn't miss anything. Going this route. got some gain hit points after kill. We have got some serious, serious crystals that we're going to be working with. A flat bow. Is that a weapon for Rob? Wow. Yes, it is. crystal slots, though. I don't know why it has the four stars. I need to figure out more of the... The stats thing does not... Still doesn't totally click for me in terms of how they're handling weapons, but... Oh, God. Okay, that's a lot of those Seahorse Knights. Well, I mean, if I go through here, and it looks like I may have to... Well, I don't have to. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it. Then we're gonna take them on. We're gonna use Ultra Move right off the bat. Now we're gonna, this is gonna be perfect because it's going to do physical damage to all and it's gonna armor break all. So. I, look like John I don't know whether to be happy about that or not. No, no, no. Awesome. Okay. Now. Probably could have X slash there actually. But. Oh, she's got Pedal Storm up. Yay! These are weak to, to wind. Let's get a healing hand on. Ouch. Next 
fucked up. Weak to win, so that's why we do that there. Critical and a bleed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get that going on. See, and as you can see, the ultra move is already all at half. It's going to end up being at about two-thirds, I think, when all is said and done. So... Almost all the way back up to the ultra move again. Very well handled. That fight went very well. Yeah, so I could have gone either way. Oh, okay, I did not expect to see that. On the power load of bravery. Okay, that was... I walked right into that. That's my bad. Did not see that. Faster on the regen. I would like that. Uh, he's already got a defense break, so instead, let us cross that. means that that should take care of this guy. Kaboom. Got an old puppet. As I would have expected. Not going to use Ultra Move now because I've already gone further into that, that mix, but... Yeah, the enemies can hit really hard. The reason they're hitting hard right now, though, is that I'm in overheat, and I need to address that situation immediately. <laughs> um, and get out of overheat. They do more damage when you're overheat. You need to be in overdrive. Now I'm in overheat again. That's okay, though. Uh... Out of overheat and also kills this guy off. Okay, now we're in, now we're fine again. We are okay. Okay, 
So, now that I've done that, I can armor break. Armor break you. Uh, let's poetic march so we can get out of overheat into overdrive. Use the offensive buff anyway. Right. I know all about that. Still pushed in overheat, I have to get out of that. But won't need to because it's gonna be dead now. So worked out okay. Had to use up a meal, but for the most part, that was okay. I I also ran into that fight not seeing those guys there, so. I think I came from here. That's the monastery. Okay, wait. I don't want to go down there quite yet. I do not want to go there quite yet. Let's unlock the door. Yes. All right. Okay. So now what we need to do here is we're going to go over to... This is the one thing I don't like is you can't do this. You can't do this when uh, they don't have it activated already, which is... Or when they don't have it equipped, which is frustrating because it means you have to remember, like I just did. So now I put in the flat boat. Why did I do that? Because now I'm going to auto-combine all my crystals... I'm going to upgrade my weapons as much as I can, and then, like that one for example, I'm going to upgrade it again. I think that is fully upgraded. So now that I've done that, I will also upgrade this. Once I've upgraded these, then I'm going to put crystals in them. Still don't have a weathered bone, so I cannot upgrade that. Okay. That is okay. Do I have any armor that I can upgrade? I need more silver orb for the ore for that, huh? That's too bad. Okay. All right. So now, set into weapon. I probably don't... Oh, I do have one. Sleep resistance. Yes, I will do that. My silver sword is now as enhanced as it's going to get. Do I have anything for the partisan? I do not. But I know I have some for the flat bow. Gain hit points after kill is useful. Resistance against dark. I like this idea of the hit points, though. Okay, for the S stock. I'm probably not being, by the way, maximally efficient in these things, um, but whatever. I, crafting is not something I'm usually that interested in in games, so. All right. Right, so. What about Shimmering Garb? This I might have something for. Yes, I can see that. Uh, useful. Useful. Okay. Good. All right. That was useful to get that thing. So now I can save it. Still love to find a merchant, but sometimes you find merchants near these things, but in the middle of the monastery, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's... 
likely to happen. Treasure chest? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down and around and explore here, then I'll go back up to that number one, which I think is where the monastery is. Oh, uh, I may have already gotten this then. Yeah, possibly. I may have gone over to the right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already did this. Okay. Alright, good. So, I know where I am. I can now go back up and around. Go up to where I suspect the monastery is. Hey, Patrick. Look at that! A huge bottle of Dover Gin! That's my favorite drink! Oh crap! I may have spoken too soon. Welp, looks like we got a mega gin. Hi. Gin? More like a gin. Hey yo! Alright, here we are. Well, let's see. Um. All right, good. Interesting. Weep to water. All right, I will keep that in mind. Let's have you bleed. Right. Time for a power out armor salvo. their element to water. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I see what you did there. Well, since you are now weak to, or you're weak to wind, interesting. Well, actually he already was broken. I forgot that he was already broken. Change the water. Changing your element to wind. Okay. I got you. This drops us down a little bit. got bleed on, so... Weak to Earth, huh? Um... Okay, let's see. Weak to Earth. Uh, I don't think I have Earth, actually. Switch you in. Thank you. 
let's go with that. Magical Earth attack. He was weak, now he's going to switch over to Earth. Yep. Changes their element to Earth. I love it. Means he's now weak to Fire. water. Will not be after this. Now he's going to switch back to water, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Go with the bleed slash. back into overdrive. Now let me be wet, please. Oh, I got a real... I got another ultra move. Weak to wind, huh? Gotta get out of overheat. Okay. Time for an ultra move. Which I started the beginning of the fight here, and I'm gonna continue it. Oh. Okay. I will happily take that. That was not a hard fight. And a Grimoire Shard. Hey. Who would have ever thought that pacifist monks would keep such pets? These are probably the last of them. We're almost there. Wait. We have to deal with the other guests first. Guests? have been following us for quite some time now. Oh, these clowns. You gotta hand it to these guys. They know how to swing a sword. And they're even capable of using magic. If this is just about Sienna, I'd call the whole thing off. She wouldn't be worth the risk. But it is about a juicy bounty on every single skull of this troop. Skull! Skull! And a princess is a bonus. We cannot say no to that. Besides, they're not the only ones who mastered magic. Brothers, over there! Look at that, a bounty, huh? Must have been your brother's idea, I guess. Do we now have to deal with bounty hunters as well? We don't need their scum. You best forget about this kind of deal. Their currency is our heads. You want us to run? Let us pray to fate that we'll succeed. Let's go. After them, don't let them get away. The gate is locked? Ah, yes, the last security measure. They're coming. Quick, to the door. Don't let them through. How do we get it open? Let me see. 
Oh, yeah. Hmm, I see. An exam that tests a visitor's education in magical matters. We have to draw the 17th Conathan glyph in the sand here. Oh, that's simple. I mean, I know all the glyphs all the way up to 35, you know, so. What? Something Sir Victor would certainly know. Basic knowledge at the Magic Academy. Let me do it. Hurry up! There you go. Oh, that was apparently the wrong glyph. Let me think for a moment. Ah, uh, yes, that was it. No, it wasn't. This can't be happening. It's been ages, and this is the kind of knowledge you practically never need. Draw any glyph! Come on, quick! That's what I'm doing. Glenn, do you know the answer? Why would he? May I try? What is this crap? Stop wasting time. Shut up, Rob. Aha. That's unexpected. I wouldn't have taken you for a bookworm. The Thraz, a smoke bomb. That was close. But at least we've gained some time. These idiots can hardly remember their own names, let alone ancient characters. The question is how we get back. Tell me, boy, how come you know the glyphs? There are hundreds of them. I learned them. Really? This is old and useless knowledge. Since this knowledge saved our lives, I wouldn't call it so useless anymore. Glenn's always good for a surprise. Let's go on for now. Killian is right. Standing around here isn't going to help us. Glenn, you... you never learned how to write glyphs, did you? No. There was no school in Golgotha. I was never taught how to read, either, but... But... What are you waiting for? Come on! Let's go. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, I don't want to leave that chest behind! Kindred Monastery. Okay. Before we do any of Kindred anything, we're going to learn some skills. Okay. Because we got a Grimoire Shard. Alright, so Arms Break is very useful. And I'm thinking about that. But I could also use Tech Points plus 5. I've been increasing his attack, and I think I'm going to keep doing that, actually. Three more skills. We're going to have a whole, new, a whole new set available to us. 5% um, chance to execute a skill without paying TP costs. Ultra moves are more efficient. Hmm. Okay, let's see. SOS agility up. Right, it should just be down below though, and I don't love that. Um, she could use more defense. She's been struggling a bit uh, to stay up. Um, let's see. Counter mind up. Could be very useful. Um, get some more tech points here, please. Oh, Rob. Oh, Rob, you piece of crap. Um, all right, let's... Let's go with agility. Um, TP gain. I'm thinking mind up. Yes. And let's see. Wet strike. Targets defense in mind by 10% for three turns. I have not been using Killian that much. Counter defense up. Raises match by 20%. That's very close. I may hold on to that then. Ultra moves are more efficient. 
Wind thrust would be useful. Let's do that, I think. Whoops. No. Darn it. <laughs> okay. Now we got all those at level two. Uh, this... Counter agility up can be very useful. HP sacrifice I have not done yet. Hmm... I don't love any of those yet. 57. Okay, so I can't do anything with him anyway. Uh, could increase my agility. Eighty-three, so I can't do that anyway. Yeah, okay, so I want to hold on to that. Okay. Right. Okay, there we go. Now, no map. Damn it. Mouse, tell me how to get to that chest. It's a merchant! Hey! When I'm selling stuff in such dangerous places, I usually raise the prices, but because it's you, I'll make an exception. Yeah, thanks, bro. Oops. Ooh, light and heavy armor, yes! Brigadine and a chainmail, huh? Could have a chain mail. It would drop TP, but it would increase everything else. I think that's worth it. Same. problem with that is that I don't have a thing to you know, I don't have a thing to uh, I don't have a stone yet which is unfortunate uh, okay sell Jerkin. Interesting. Whoops. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Um. any of these yet. But I may need to down the line. Okay. Very useful. Very useful. I'm still going to need a place where I can up the ante on those crystals, but for the most part... what I mean about the map. Okay, so I go out again. Yep. Shade Amulet. Oh, wait, is that a Jade Armlet? 
It is. Better attack, better magic, slightly less on hit points. Ooh. Yes, please. Still need a crystal thing, but... Yeah, that's pretty slick. I think it was down around here. Yeah, but there was another... There was another one that allowed me to get into that other... I'm complaining about any of these things. Make it there. Nice. Okay. There. Right in here. This no map thing, I don't know. Wait, I'll go there in a second. Interesting. Uh, can't wait to fight the huge plant that's taken over this entire place. That's going to be a joy. must have raged here. Will we ever find any information? If it's not on the floor of the ocean, we should be able to find something. The monks knew how to correctly document this treasure of knowledge, and a document of this documentation fell into my hands quite some time ago. That means you know where to look? I have leads, yes, but you can give me a hand nevertheless. What exactly are we looking for? As you see, there are numerous books that have lost their place on the shelves due to earthquakes and weather. Not even the best documentation can help. Please check if some of them contain inventory lists or if they're diaries. Nail Kilber Nail Kilbers would be interesting. What makes you think he wrote one? The High Prophet of the Church once kept a diary, which is today considered the most important document of their faith. Since then, it's been a sacrament for every monk to keep a diary. Fine. While you check the sorted shelves, we'll examine all the scattered papers. I'll take over this area here. And I'll search here. This corner doesn't look so dusty. Wait a minute, please don't tell me that you're all able to read. You're never short on insults, are you? I was just surprised. I'm not sure if it speaks of your character when such statements come over your lips subconsciously. Not sure about that line, but okay. You will probably never get along with each other. She, she, she. Now get to work. Meanwhile. 88%, 93%, 100%. All four airstones are working at full power. Engines are at 30% of their capacities. Everyone get ready for takeoff. Crazy! A ship as massive as an entire castle lifted into the air. A job most well done. I'm glad that you're happy with our product. Excelsior Industries is known for its quality. Strong woods from Miranda, robust metals from the mountains of Ramunda, and the strongest opus stones Gandabranth can provide. 
All that makes the Aurora the sturdiest airship Volandis has ever seen. This is the thing, you ever buy it, you ever get something from a store chat, and you start reading it, and it's like, the first thing you see are all these things congratulating you on your purchase. Like, congratulations on the best item. I'm like, dude, you already sold it to me. You don't need to... Science is surely making big leaps nowadays. It has for quite some time, my lord, so catch up. Outside of Volandis, yes. In between all the battles, there was no place and time for progress here. This will change soon. I've heard this ship's maiden voyage is headed directly to the battlefield. I would advise to train your men a bit longer. Do not worry. This ship will see no use in battle today. The Aurora is strong, but it isn't the most powerful weapon in our arsenal. Today's battle will find a quick end. Oh yeah, I've heard the rumors. The Grand Grimoire. Your Highness, word from the other ships. They're all ready as you order. Nice! Finally some action. I'll take my leave. The Pegasus Bridge is waiting for my command. See you later, my prince. I'll return to my Daedalus as well. I must say, due to the Grand Grimoire, somehow all the excitement before a battle is lost. But this might be better for my old heart. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Just garbage. Who reads this stuff? I haven't seen anything useful either. Killian, did you find anything? Killian? Ah, uh, did you say something? The princess asked if you found anything. No, nothing. But we did. It is not much. Even though the monks were dedicated to poverty, they possessed some valuable objects. And such treasures are, of course, kept in a treasure chamber, which is managed by a treasurer, who in turn records everything in a treasure list. And this is where you discovered the grimoire? Yes. We knew the approximate year and found an entry about the stone, which they simply called a grimoire of unimaginable size, or a gauss for short. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. They did not seem to know of its power. There is also a note in the list. We assumed that the stone was simply given as a gift to the King of Terran, but there was an actual reason. It was payment to be able to travel freely on Volandis to build churches and do some research. Research? The church seemed to be looking for the tomb of one of its saints here in Volandis, a certain Lady Reyna. This is where the information stops. I found more within this diary of the treasure of the mentioned. While cleaning the storeroom, I bumped a rainbow shimmering grimoire from the shelf, which then rolled down the corridor and fell down the stair. This triggered a huge explosion as he writes. He triggered the grand grimoire here? Apparently this huge explosion wasn't as enormous as we know of. It destroyed only a part of the first floor and front garden. Then it couldn't be the grimoire we're searching for, right? But it was a rainbow shimmering grimoire from the time Nail Kelder brought it to Terran. What happened then? The monk was scared. He ran down and found the shards of the grimoire under in the The pieces were put into place by a world of ether. It appears the grimoire was sucking in the ether before rebuilding its form. Ether from where? From some dead blades in the garden. The grimoire was sucking out the ether from the lives it took? That's all there is. The monk kept it secret and didn't want to take blame for the explosion. What does this mean? Enough story time. Your friends with the bounty and the princess come with us. Oh, these guys. You've solved the riddle? By luck, I guess. Drop your weapons and surrender. Do we look like we would surrender? No. All right, let's finish it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start out with an ultra move. To wind, huh? Well, fortunate for you that I've just upgraded my wind. Ouch. Oh, regen water, huh? That's clever. Clever, clever girl. Two. 
steal from you. Gold nugget. Thank you. Stop healing my guys. Or your guys, rather, wherever you are. Stop healing him! Alright, that guy dies next. That guy dies next. Okay, I want to kill this guy as fast as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just keep me regening all you want, but. enough out of you, thank you. Ultra move. Overdrive, which will cut down on damage. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're strong. <laughs> Why must fate always make everything so difficult for us? Because you've earned it no difficult. Yeah. I have had enough. Ooh. General Gustin. 
You had your chance to collect the bounty. Now we take over. Wait, we didn't do all the dirty work for nothing. Without us, you'd still be biting your tusks at that door. You're surrounded. Throw down your weapons. General Gustin, do you realize who you're talking to? Remember your rank. I speak to you not as a general, but in the name of your brother, the Prince. This group is to be neutralized, and your return must be arranged immediately, Princess. I will not return. You cannot force me. If I have no choice, I think I can. A black sky armor? So, they finally make their appearance. Who are you? Are you with them? Clack, clack, clack. Can you hear it? Uh, clack, clack, clack. The wheel of fate is starting to turn. What are you talking about? The stream flows, the wheel turns, the grain is ground. But where is the Lady Miller, who has seen her? Someone must have pushed the block off the wheel, otherwise it wouldn't be turning, would it? Is he one of yours? Archers, all in position. Ah, there's the Miller. Does he mean Lenny? Poor woman, alone in the deep forest, far from the path, far away from the mill, surrounded by bad, oh so bad wolves. Who are you? Who am I, dear Miller? On my command, I am the hunter. Fire! This is our chance. Let's go. They're getting away. Blow this sky armor out of the sky and get me the princess now. How about we save first? How's that sound? Teleport currently not possible. What a surprise. I guess I'm going out the way I came. I think this is right. Thought it might be secret entrance, but I was wrong. Alright, well now what? We did escape the monastery. I still can't teleport, huh? Alright, well, I don't know, but... Let me save this down here just in case. Chat. I couldn't, uh, it's kind of a softball.
Find 10 out of 10 collectibles. Nice. Okay. One of those. And then 9 out of 10 collectibles. And then, ah. So close. If I could just, ah. Ah. towards the firewoods, I guess, we're supposed to be going, so. And that might mean... Oh, flower fields are perpetua, okay. Maybe as far as I can get here. I could go over to the left, I guess. Okay. I thought I would have already explored most of this area, just looking at the map. I don't know. Okay. Oh dear, I can't run these distances. I'm more of a sprinter. Oh boy. Looks like you've time to catch a breath. Princess, please do not resist. Useless soldier, your words fall on deaf ears. Great, more of them. I have known you since your childhood, Princess, and have always been friendly to you. The Prince has ordered me to kill your companions on the spot. Thus, I make you a final offer. Come with me voluntarily, and I will spare their lives for the time being. You'll be able to plead for them in front of the Prince himself. Do not believe a word he says, Lenny. No sooner are you out of sight, they slit our throats. I'm sorry, Killian. I know General Gustin well. He would keep his promise. What a bunch of nonsense! Come on, lady! What are you trying to say? General, I will go with you if you spare my friends. You've struck a wise bargain. Lenny, what are you doing? Do you think we can't fight our way out? Maybe you can, Glenn. But with every battle we fight, we hurt Terran's soldiers, my countrymen. Please put down your weapons. You will go unharmed, I swear. My brother will follow my plan. Come on, Lenny. Oh, my God. How many times has it been proven to you that your brother is not... Ugh. All right, everyone, take them into custody. We'll be joining the prince at the front. The front? Don't worry. We'll be watching the battle from a safe distance on the Aurora. Is that Frederick's wish? What are his reasons for this? I speak in the name of the prince, but I do not know his thoughts. You must ask him yourself. All right, take me to him. I'll make sure that you'll go unharmed. Do not worry. Oh, yeah, sure. I totally believe you, Lenny. At least we now know what the so-called Holy Mother looks like. Celestia. Ooh. You stand before the Prince. Prince? First and foremost, he's my brother, but I'm not even sure of that anymore. As of right now, I see a lump of dirt that has tried to kill my friends. I guess it was them that taught you this choice of words. What do you think of this expression? You were a big pile of shit. Uh, here we go with the line-by-line -line writing. Every so often, the guy's like, okay, it's time to throw in a swear for no reason. Damn! How dare you? You of all people here have the least right to criticize me like that. Who ran away back then because she wanted to see the world? 
Who left me behind? I alone had to take over our father's tasks from one day to the next. All the responsibility that we could have shared, you put on me. It was selfish and cowardly. You call me selfish and cowardly? I set out to learn something from the world true, so I wouldn't become the person you are now. Look at you. I know all the stories they tell about you. You execute peasants who can't pay their taxes. You don't let a traitor die alone. You send the whole family to their death. All the while hiding behind your executioners. You've lost all feelings for life and death, Frederick. You were the one who was selfish and cowardly. Yeah, Frederick. One second, one. Lost all feelings for life and death. Hello, Pil Pal. That's easy for you to say. You say you set out because you didn't want to become like me? When did I have this choice? Answer me one thing, Celestia. If I had been the one to travel the world and you had been the one to sit on the throne, would you have acted differently? This drama is played out. General Gustin, I hope you'll forget the words that were spoken here. I had invited you, Celestia, to have you at my side at last. I wanted you... Be that as it may. Take her to a cell. Yes, sir. Wait, about my friends. I will hear no more of it. But... Enough! Has it come to this, putting your sister into a jail? Not actually listening to me when it was obvious that you were always never going to listen to me? Why am I even surprised? I was a prisoner in our castle from the beginning. Then you're used to it. Don't think I will let you leave ever again. Move. Why did you bring us here? On the command of his majesty, you're sentenced to death. I mean, this thing with Lenny is annoying as hell. It was obvious that this was going to be the way that they were going to try to do things. I'm sure we'll be okay, but still. What? That wasn't the deal. Where's Lenny? Where's the princess? We must speak to her. Her princess's wish was turned down by the prince in the shock of the year. What is this? Close your eyes. This is our chance. Without any weapons? No need for them. Cameron, that was a close call. What's going on, my friend? Well, Gwen wanted to interrogate me. Instead, I took this chance to escape. Come, your items are in the chest over there. But how do we leave? There's no airship here we can take. The Aurora has another hangar in the front. Maybe we'll be able to get a ship there. Wait, everyone. Cameron, didn't you say that it's too difficult to steal the Grand Grimoire from the palace? I probably said that, yes. I was drunk at the time, but then we need to steal it from here. Are you mad? This is our chance. If we don't act now, another disaster will happen. The Prince will use the Grimoire in this battle. Glenn, you want to steal the Grand Grimoire right now? We should be happy if we manage to get out of here alive. Actually, he's right. This might be our best chance to get to the stone. It is on the Pegasus. A purple sky armor is holding onto it. Their plan is to bring the stone behind the enemy lines and shatter it. Get me a sky armor and I'll find the stone. I'm... I'm a good sky armor pilot. It might be even one of the best, it's true. Good. Let's go to the front hangar and grab a sky armor for Glenn and an airship for the rest of us. You're all crazy. But fine, let's at least make haste. I want to leave this place as fast as possible. Come on, Rob. What now? The prince will never let Lenny go again. She'll be a prisoner for the rest of her life. That's the worst thing you could do to her. So now you want us not only to steal Taryn's greatest weapon, but its princess as well? I... I... I beg of you. Oh, please, you're even bowing your head? I agree with Rob. She should be here on the airship. Let's find her. We'll rescue the princess and steal the stone. Ah, fine by me, but let's move our asses. Th thank you. I have to rescue Lenny and reach the other hangar. Okay. So, 
the flying battleship Aurora. How much you want to bet? Oh, there is a map. Amazing. This seems like not a safe place for a crate, can I just say? All right, put those crates right out there on a wing and, uh... Ooh, a Nagamaki. What is that? Woo! Hello! Four stars. Okay, I have to wait on this, though, until I find a crystal thing. Because... I need to pull the crystals from hers and put it in there. <coughs> That's definitely where I keep my swords, by the way, Chad. If you have your own battleship... And I recommend that you keep them on the edge of a very ill-defended wing. Two meals. Also where you want to keep meals. Always a good idea to keep some sandwiches down there too. That's true, Mad Genius. Who who doesn't love a wing Sammy snack? You're on you're on a flying battleship trying to prevent a war, and you know sometimes you just need a snack. Sometimes you just want a ham and cheese sandwich, and you just go get it on the wing, the wing sandwich. Nothing more delicious than a wing sandwich. Five is the top floor, the top floor, right? Five's the top floor? Yes. Okay, so I want to go to the next floor down. Sometimes you get hungry here of a wing suit. Uh, these are all good points. Okay, so this is the fourth floor. You're part of the crew? I've never seen you before. Yeah, I'm part of the crew. I'm part of uh, crew cleanup. The Escanian fleet will meet us at the border between Kotar and the Roland Fields. All right, thanks. Thanks for the info. And no problem. No, re no reason to report us. We're just, uh, we're just here exploring um, in the name of uh, Prince Frederick. Long may he reign. And uh, we're not at all ripping off and stealing everything that isn't nailed down. If you get the Princess Snickers. You having a bad... <laughs> when you're hungry, you're not yourself. Yeah, may maybe that is exactly what we're dealing with here. Uh... Hey, what's up? I'm only needed for takeoff and landing, so I'm just taking it easy here. Well, it's a tough life. Someone's got to live it, though. Hey, what's up? I should be excited before the battle, but Prince Frederick has assured us there'll be no fighting. The Grand Grimoire will do the job for us. Alright, thanks for letting us know. Do you want to know why this airship is called the Aurora? Yes, I'm very interested. Prince Frederick named it that when he visited the Aurora sister ship in the Arnsreich. You know, military airships are often painted light blue on their undersides to make them harder to see from the ground. For most airships, that makes sense, but not for the Aurora. The ship is a huge block in the sky. You can paint it any way you want, but you're still going to notice it. Prince Frederick was amused by this and said that this wide blue surface shines like a northern light in the sky. Hence the name Aurora. 
fascinating. Thanks for giving me that super important information. I definitely needed to know that. Hi. One can almost feel sorry for Escania's troops. They don't realize it yet, but they're about to be pulverized from one moment to the next. Sweets. That's what I keep in an armory of sweets. That apparently this thing has some trouble with food in general. Like they're just like, all right, here, here's some sweets, and that's what you should clearly keep here. We keep that in our armory. We keep sandwiches on the wing. We keep sweets in the, you know, in the armory. I mean, it's all logical. Anyway, I've never seen an airship like this before. Look around you, everything is made of stone and metal. I wonder how many engines are needed to hold the weight of this ship in the sky. Uh, excellent question. That's blocked. Can I go to five? Haha. <laughs> we need to get Lenny first. No! Come up! Dude, I need to get the treasure chest. Oh. Are you serious? Man. First we get the treasure, then we get Lenny. That's how this works. Battle time. Okay. Uh, you are weak against wind. A lot of these guys are weak against wind. by his script. What's up, dude? Ow, stop hitting Victor. Stop hitting Victor. do that because I need to keep us in overdrive, but In overdrive, which is nice. Overheat is not so good. Only got one guy left, though. Strong against Earth, not against me.
Okay. There we go. Now. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the thing. Darn it, Lenny. I know you're up there, but first we have to get the... I thought I'd become stronger these past few years, but look at me now. Locked up like a common thief. And worst of all, unable to save my friends, which was not obvious from the very beginning when it first happened. Because, of course... Because I wasn't being very smart about all of it. <sighs> okay. They trusted me and threw down their weapons. And how am I repaying them? By signing their death warrant. I'm still too weak. No, you just need to stop trusting your brother. If only I had more power. Princess! Rob, Glenn, what are you all doing here? That's a good question. Kidnapping princesses is a quirk that's very difficult to get rid of. Come with us, Lenny. We're going to steal the grimoire. You're heading for the stone? Speak no more. I shall join you. Just be aware that the blood of Terran's shoulders will be shed again. I know. The situation has changed. My brother is about to use the Grand Grimoire. We need to stop it on behalf of the people of Landis. We fight for every citizen of this land. Anyone who stands between us and the Grimoire can no longer be considered a fellow countryman. He is an enemy of Volandis. Very good, but now quickly. It's a shame that I have to be saved like a damsel in distress. But now is not the time to whine. You got that right. Okay. So, now. that. And hers. Okay, now I have to set equipment. Jade Amulet. I thought I already had that. Nagamaki. Yes. Okay. Alright, now. I need a horn. I need silver ore. I need a thick hide. I need horn. Yeah, Jade Amulet. Man, I wish I had a better situation with this armor. Okay, so now... Now that I got... Lenny back. It's all locked closed. Mm. I don't want to fight those guys yet. I want to go get the stuff that... The treasure chest that I was looking for now that I got Lenny. Also, yeah, no, this is not at all what I want. Um, Rob. Get out of there. Okay, there's Lenny. Okay, the Thraz goes there. Okay. 
after it, you go here. Sienna goes here. Uh, Victor is paired up with Killian. And s let's see. Sienna is paired up with... Rob. Okay. There we go. Okay, good. Now I go back up here. Uh, I think it's U5. Yes, now we got Lenny, so now I can actually go get stuff. Agility by 15%, huh? Immune to poison. Mm. He really could use that winged cape more than anything else. Okay. So good. We got that one. move will be on these guys, but I'm not going to do that yet. Ultra move. We want to do this early in the fight, like I said, so we can build the ultra move back up. sit there and watch him as he's making that. Staggered. I have to remember to un to get her out of there so that she's not... She is staggered. Staggering everybody. Okay. Goodbye. Be able to go over. Yeah. 
I figured there'd be another fight in here. That's all right. Okay. Damn it. Stop staggering her. Staggered. There we go. Stop hitting Victor. Stop staggering people. Staggered. Okay, and let's see. Jen, please. Stop staggering my people. Please. That's very nicely. Your armor's broken. So far, so good on these guys. So far, so good. What the heck? Treasure chest is over there. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Uh, yeah, we have a problem. <laughs> Somehow that's bleeding. We're doing the ultra move on this guy, but... We're not supposed to be up against the sky armor ourselves. Damn it. Stop hitting him. to use up a meal, but...
Nice. It's sort of like a, oh, by the way, you've just defeated a Sky Armor on your own. Like, okay. Sky Armors. And even two airships to choose from. Fate's on our side once again. Glenn, you take the Sky Armor. We'll try and locate the Pegasus and the Grand Grimoire with one of the airships. Yes. Ouch! Killian? This is where our paths part. Glenn, you gotta trust me on this. Unhand me right now! You bastard, hands off the princess. Wait, I don't understand. What is the meaning of this, Killian? We take the airship and leave Volandis together with Lenny. Trust me and come to my side. I will explain everything later. Do not move. I like Lenny, but I will not hesitate to harm her. I knew that you could not be trusted. But madness has taken you, Killian. Madness? Do you believe we lived all this time on my family's money alone? That source dried up a long time ago. I was forced to take a second job as a scout for my benefactor. Who paid you for this? Iscania? Gravos? You said you were going to leave Valandis, right? So it was Nebrelia, wasn't it? I received this mission in Torment. As a hostage, she'll make sure that less blood will flow in the upcoming war against Nebrelia. Yeah, exactly, right, Mad Genius? How can you betray us? Where are your principles? Don't speak of principles. You've been trying to revive the Band of the Iron Bolt for several moons now. How many people have we killed since then? Oh, it's the classic, like, listen, it's not true, because, uh, you know... You kill people, so therefore you can't make moral judgments. Oh. What's up, Leonard? Into retro and new games. Good to meet you all. Well, welcome. Welcome uh, to Godcom's Twitch channel there. Welcome. How many people have we killed on this airship alone? We could skip all the bloodshed if we sell it in Aurelia. How can you be sure of this? You said yourself the path we're taking is paved with corpses. There is no other route. Why should it suddenly be so simple? Do you think I'm wrong? I do, Killian. I can't follow you. There's as much blood on your path as there is on mine. But at least I can walk mine with my head held high. You of your own people want to go your own way? You who always held my hand? Don't make me laugh. Then go forward with your head held high. But remember that the one who always looks upwards will stumble at some point. How many more dramatic speeches can we actually have? Before you know it, you'll be one of the corpses a part of the pavement. I, on the other hand, will never lose sight of this path. Killian, enough! I told you that I've had enough of being the damsel in distress. This is the end of it. I'm going to murder this pig. We do not have time for that. Glenn, get to the Sky Armor. Glenn! Yes. Damn it. You hear me, Glenn? Apparently these things have radios. I hear you. Not much time to get accustomed to your new gear. Listen, there are several Sky Armors approaching. Don't fly over here. You must take the route through the machine room. Leave the Aurora through the exit south of the elevator. Understood. Killian. Why? Ah! No, I must focus on the Grand Grimoire. The time has finally come. I won't let the events in Wernshire repeat. Let's go! I will stop the Grand Grimoire! When calling upon your Sky Armor, it's immediately dropped in your location. Board your Sky Armor pressing LB. Exit by pressing RB. Two modes of traversal, hover mode and fly mode. Hover mode, your Sky Armor travels on ground level with similar boundaries to when journeying on foot, but it can hover on surfaces that are approximately the same level as the ground, e.g. the ocean. In fly mode, your Sky Armor can fly over every obstacle. In the Aurora's Hangar, only hover mode is available. Entering an encounter while using a Sky Armor triggers a new battle mode. In this mode, there are two big changes. Instead of switching party members, the Sky Armor can now switch gears by pressing RB. Once per turn, a Sky Armor can switch their gear up one level. While switching gears while in gear 2, the Sky Armor jumps back to gear 0. Gear 1, Sky Armors deal and receive normal damage. Skills have normal cost. Gear 2, they deal and receive more damage. Skills cost more TP. 0, they deal and receive normal damage. They cannot use any skills. Attack, defend, and the use of items restores a huge amount of TP in addition to the actual action. Gear 2, they become killing machines that run out of TP very quickly. Switch into Gear 0 to restore TP before switching back into Gear 1 to be able to use skills again. Okay. The overdrive bar functions differently. The cursor starts in the middle. There's now no overdrive area but instead two overheat zones. You want the cursor to stay out of these areas. Skill types no longer influence the cursor's direction. The direction of the cursor is now determined by the gear the Sky Armor is in. Okay. 
In gear one, it moves it to the right. Two, moves it to the left. Zero does not move the cursor. Put your sky armors into the right gear to not only deal additional damage or restore two feet, but to also juggle the overdrive bar between the two overheat zones. Okay. Skills available in battle depend on the weapon type chosen. Every weapon type comes with its own set of four skills. A sky armor can equip a melee weapon and a long range weapon for a total of eight skills. Not all four skills of a weapon type are available from the beginning. Pilot needs to raise their proficiency in a particular weapon type to learn new skills. Proficiency is raised by winning encounters in the Sky Armor and earning SP. SP earned will then be dispersed amongst the pilot's proficiencies with the largest portion going to the weapon equipped, the remainder evenly distributed to the others. Okay, achievement unlocked. Reclaim your Sky Armor. Pretty epic music here. All right, time to pilot Big Stompy Mech, chat. Zeno Gears is so great. One of my favorite uh, parts of any soundtrack comes out of Zeno Gears. Why can I not? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. Sky Armor versus Sky Armor. I should be able to switch into Gear 2 to deal more damage. Alright. Fiercer! Fiercer! <coughs> I said... Yeah, it's true, Miranda. That last disc wasn't as good. I'd love to see them do a remake where they just do that one. Aha! Piercer! Oh my god! <laughs> 3471! Piercer! They're so cute at that age! Wow. It did use a lot of TP, but. I think I heard you say, Piercer! We've reached the enemy, your highness. Good. Has General Godfrey finished channeling his magic? Almost, your highness. Your highness, our prisoners have stolen an airship. Celestia's baggage. Mm -hmm. Take them down. Yes, your... A moment. It's the princess. Princess Celestia appears to be on the ship. What is she thinking? Your command, your highness? It's no choice but to ignore them. Concentrate on General Godfrey. As you command. So he doesn't want to kill his sister yet. Good Look over there, it's the Pegasus. 
I don't even have to look to feel all that ether that's being channeled. Here, sir! That is General Godfrey. We met him in Ivan. He's been channeling some spell like that for hours. And right behind him is a purple sky armor. That's our target. Glenn, can you hear me? Yes. Have you discovered the grimoire? Look to your right. General Godfrey seems to be casting a powerful spell right now. Behind him is the sky armor carrying the grand grimoire. I see him. Wait, what is this? That was no common spell. Something tells me that Gwen tinkered with it. Glenn, the general is getting into the sky armor. He will try to use the Gren Grimmar behind enemy lines. Not if I get him first. What are you doing? He's the one the radio message was about. Get him. You think you can stop me? I think you haven't really heard the most recent example of... Piercer! Heavy swing is cute. You know what else is cute? Piercer! It's funny when you're hitting me, but not as funny as when I do. Piercer! Oh, now I'm out of TP. Poison salvo. Oh, and your poison. That's cute, but not as cute as Piercer! <laughs> Piercer! Who the heck is this pilot? He fights like a madman. Don't stand in my way. Or I'm gonna have to hit you with something I like to call Piercer! <laughs> I said, Piercer! Oh, shoot. Darn it. Poison Salvo. And of course, Piercer! It's just, you know, it's fun to say. The purple sky armor is over there. What was that? Knights attacking a sky armor in midair? Damn it, they're too fast. Valkyries! Are they flying? Magically enhanced jumping power and gliding. They're an anti sky armor unit. We have to do something about that. Get me closer to Glenn. What do you plan to do? The commander of the Valkyries is traditionally the highest ranking female member of the royal house. In other words, me. Oh, damn. I can't do anything. Lenny! Go, Glenn! This is your chance! Okay, that was pretty impressive. Find an opening, bring the grimoire behind enemy lines and smash it. Find an opening, bring the grimoire behind enemy lines and smash it. I'm almost there. I hope this stone really spares its user. Stop right there! Huh? Who are you? What do you want? My business is with the stone. Give it to me and I... I'll spare you. How foolish! Naivete guides your tongue. Then let me speak with my sword. Salvo. Ouch. 
critical again. Okay, I need to heal. I have it. Fool, what are you thinking? You should have left the stone alone. I'm trying to save people. Look out! Why is Terran shooting at me? You're close enough to the enemy. They want to shatter the Grand Grimoire. No! I won't let them. The events of Wernshire will not repeat. What? Oh, I guess they repeated. Well, the events repeated. Whoopsie! Man. I bet it dropped on their own land. What is happening? The Grand Grimoire is detonated on ground level, your highness. Celestia, is this your doing? Why have you forsaken me? What a terrible weapon. It's unimaginable that such destructive power is in the hands of a human. Our faith promotes technical development and thus the prosperity of this world, but sometimes this development scares me. This strikes me as a little bit of a philosophical discussion to be having while they're watching this massive explosion, just being like, you know, technology, I think, has some problems. Yeah, I agree. I think that there are some concerns. Meanwhile, <sighs> you're wrong, Ava. That weapon is beyond something a human could ever develop. It's the power of God. So, finally they show themselves. What do you mean, my beloved? You cannot see them, but their never-blinking gaze is searching for the stone. The gods are getting nervous. Once again, their weapon has been used without their consent. I have become Death Destroyer of Worlds, yeah. They are gods, why don't they take the Grimoire back? Because they do not care about the stone itself. You must know that in the history of Eldrea, there has never been a people of greater pride than them. The theft was the worst insult they ever had to suffer. All they care about is finding the thief who stole it and taking revenge for the shame he spilled upon them. And? You think they will find you? You underestimate me, Jim. Even the gods don't scare you, huh? How else would I be able to kill them? There's only one force I fear. What is that? Time. Look at me. Once again, I'm failing while the world around me collapses. Glenn, you can't... Leave me alone. I know that you... I don't want to hear it. How can something like this happen to me twice? What kind of game is fate playing with me? What am I even saying? Fate has nothing to do with it. It's no one else's fault but mine. Killian was right. What good can I do on my own? Glenn... Don't come near me. I'm death incarnate. I am... I am... What am I even? Achievement unlocked. I am an achievement unlocked person. Act racer. Finish act one. Even without their most powerful weapon, the Grand Grimoire, Taran was able to destroy Ascania's fleet. The Grimoire's explosion still had an effect, however, intimidating the remaining troops all over the country. By the time Prince Frederick's first foot soldiers marched across Roland, Escania had already surrendered. For the first time in the long history of Volandis, the country found itself united under a single ruler. Two days after the end of the war, King Valheim III of Taran died and his son Frederick took the royal crown. But this was not to be the end of the bloodshed on Volandis. 
Since time immemorial, the kingdoms of the Brelia to the west and the Arnsreich to the east eyed Valandis as a strategically astute stronghold. Only Nebrelia's eternal civil war and Arnsreich's pacifist king have so far spared Valandis an invasion. But with the appointment of Drexlar XIV as king of Nebrelia, the civil war has ended. Now one of the largest armies of Eldrea is mobilizing against Valandis. Instead of lowering taxes for his people, King Frederick found himself forced to raise his levies once again. Able-bodied men were drafted from every corner of the country. As a result, public discontent reached a new high. Even among his own countrymen, the first resistors were soon rallying. Yeah, he died of natural causes, exactly. Welcome to your new home, HO3. How do you like it? Much better than that pile of dirt we found you in, right? I have some preparations to make. You'll need a hot bath and a pair of new clothes. How about you make yourself acquainted with this place? I will. Thank you very much, madam. What a lovely, well-behaved lady you are. We will get along splendidly. Uh... Oh, so you're the new girl, HO3, right? Pleased to meet you. I've heard you're coming to her class, is that true? How old are you? Ah, sorry. You just arrived and I'm bombarding you with questions without a break. Let's talk later, okay? Hmm, you're pretty old. Looks like they took their time to find their location. Normally the girls arrive at the age of 10. The heroes of Leonar are currently on a crusade against some sort of cult of the Harbinger. But they'll be here soon to welcome you. In all corridors, you'll find paintings with this motif. From an artist's perspective, it's very interesting to see the approach various artists from other eras have used to depict the same motif in their work. Interesting. I have no idea who this is. May I introduce myself? Yeah, it, it's some, it's, that's something that happens. It tends to be sort of inversely proportional to the ambition of your heirs, really. May I introduce myself? I'm the head of the scriptures. I command a hundred monks who have been writing the true history for decades now. Rest assured, the harbinger will be kept in everyone's memories. Marcus has found three other girls. We're currently at eleven. To think that there was once a hundred of you. It's you. Nice to meet you. May I ask if you can remember... Ah, uh, well, forget it. I shouldn't ask you this. I'm just a normal maiden. I shouldn't be even talking to you. Well, has the sight already burned itself into your mind? What do you mean, sir? There are paintings all over the castle with the same motif, as you've no doubt noticed. Yes, a building under a giant tree on an island in the sky. Unmistakably the same place. You'll find this place depicted in some form or another in every corner of the castle, and you'll probably make several trips there in person. And all this just so you won't forget this place. So that I don't forget it? No matter how many centuries pass, no matter how many times you are reborn, this sanctuary on Shambhala shall be a guiding light in your memories. It's a place designed to last for millennia. What's there? You'll find all kinds of tools for your mission there, and you can make contact with the vein. <laughs> all very confusing, isn't it? Don't worry, HO3. You'll understand everything little by little. May I ask to whom I'm speaking with? Oh god, how rude. I'm Timothy. I'm being trained as a teacher for the Leonar Covenant. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. But first, I have a question of my own. And what would that be? What's your real name? Is there something wrong? Uh, no, it, it's just... I haven't been asked that in a long time. Excuse me. My name is Lenny. My name is Lenny? Lenny, huh? Well, here's to a good collaboration. Thank you. Lenny. That dream again. Was it my echo from a past life? Timothy, you feel so familiar. Are you awake, Lenny? 
We're almost there. Hopefully Sir Victor is right and we're able to find him. I mean, she's standing looking at you. I assume she's awake. I wonder if he'll even join us. It's been three months since the blast. I'm sure Glenn has made a decision. Well, we'll see. Everybody, get ready to land. Might get bumpy. All right, so now we just need a few groceries. Peter and, Hew and Huey went to eat pancakes, so I guess I have to buy some wheat. Leo wants some fruits. Might as well grab some bonanzas. Or does he prefer dapples? I've had enough, Glenn. Can I go back? Huh? It was your idea to accompany me shopping. I know, but it's boring. Please, I know the way back. Well, you're a big boy, so I guess you can return on your own. Nice, until later. See you, sucker. All right, so I need to pay the shop a visit. Deadlines we have to meet. That's the wrong way. Yes, yes, yes. We're still lucky in our misfortune. As traitors, we in Flandern are not dependent on the young people who had to join the king's army. Rock Bottom with its mines and Basil with its field work have been hit much harder. They simply need the strength of the youth. The youth! The youth! The youth are on fire. Okay, that's also the wrong way. Since a few months ago, the adults somehow look much more serious than before. Is it because my brother left? Mom says he had to join the king's army. What does that mean? It's a good question, kid. You look hungry. Here, have a meal. Oh, thanks. Thanks, my dude. In Volandis, he who rules the mountains rules the gold. This is not only because Volandis is rich in raw materials, but also because all trading routes lead through here. Flandern is the wealthiest village in Cortara, and Lord Gustav is the most powerful man. He's called the Giant of the Mountain. When he was younger, he crushed all his opponents with his array of huge weaponry. His array of huge weaponry, huh? Okay. Can I get to those? When there's like a secret, okay. three out of three hidden caves. You're too late. Next time, try to be faster than me, sucker. BB. Yeah, P.S. Yes, I took the time to rebuild the stone pile in front of the entrance in order to further crush your expectations. What? <laughs> three more mountain bibbies. Festival ribbon and a blueprint. What is blueprint? Uh, deals 10% more damage against. Oh, against machines. Okay. And festival ribbon raises resistance. What are you wearing right now? Immune to poison.
Okay, so. Repair kits. What do you do to this sky armor? So, I bet I'm not going to be allowed to go any further because they're going to be like, you know, this is not the right way to the shop. Still was worth it. Flander lives on trading goods between the three countries. But if no one trades, we can't collect customs duties, so he won't even earn a single arc. The king just can't raise all the taxes. At least he should have spared us Tyrrhenians. Lord Gustav and our sons fought bravely for him. Thank you for shopping with us. Thanks. Okay, now back to the children. Who is this boy? I haven't seen him before. That kid appeared here three months ago. Almost starved to death, but declined any offer for food. I bet he's another victim of this war. Probably. Anyway, he's living now in the abandoned mansion in the west. In that spooky place all alone? Supposedly not alone. He told Parkus that he's taking care of some orphans there. Oh, is he now? Interesting. More interesting is the fact that I need to find... Lucky Flandern is pretty wealthy, so our shelves are nicely filled. Pretty wealthy, but it's not going to last long. Trove of gold! Five gold ore, clothes and robes, adventurer's vest. One more carrot nose. A lot more TP. Okay. I do not have other trading equipment that I need yet. Too much for me. The war in Valandis is over, but a new one is broken out against Gabrellia. It just can't go on. I'm at my limit. Oh, I understand. Do you have anything in your house that I can steal? I mean, repurpose? Lord Gustav once revolted against King Valheim III. There was a fierce battle and Lord Gustav lost. The king showed mercy and let him live. However, the tributes were increased and his son Rob was sent to court as the king's ward.
Five Leaf Clover. Here's the creepy mansion. It's been three months now since I arrived here. Hmm. Flashback, is that what we're dealing with here? An abandoned mansion. A good place to die as any other. Oh, he was going to find a place to die. But then. Ah! Another nightmare. Looks like my body needs food, huh? I don't think there's anything here. I should just starve to death. There's no meaning to my life anyway. Keep quiet already. Please help us. Huh? Children? Do you have something to drink? What are you kids doing in a place like this at this hour? We're hungry. We're lonely. There's no one to take care of us. Can you take care of us? Oh, great. <laughs> He's like, well, just don't be around me when I'm near the grimoire. Because I, me, I, I don't think I can be of much help. Then we will die just as the others. I don't want to die. Maybe, maybe there's some canned food here. Stop it! Get off the swing now! No, it's my turn! Yeah, for a hundred hours already. Glenn, he's been on the swing for a hundred hours. That's not true, it was just five minutes. Liar! Fine. Sven, would you kindly let me on the swing again? Okay, but only five minutes and it's my turn. Deal! Stop it! Get off the swing now! No, it's my turn. Okay. Did you get what I wanted? Let's see. Pancakes, right? Awesome! I can't wait! Glad I remember that. Otherwise, I could have lost these kids forever! Suddenly, Final Fantasy VI. Well, it's one of the touchstones for this. Are you crying? Leo made fun of me for being smaller than him. Do you think I'll grow taller? Maybe. Only maybe? Uh, well, there are some cool things you can do by being small. For example... You could be a Sky Armor pilot. Because of their size and to save energy, only people of a certain height are being drafted. A Sky Armor pilot? You think I could be a Sky Armor pilot? Sure. Did you hear that, Leo? I could be a Sky Armor pilot! Suck it, Leo! This place looks to be in great shape. Did you know that the whole continent of Galtena was overrun by a ginormous fungus and all the people had to flee? It was called The Last of Us, and I can't, I can't image, I mean, imagine seeing such a huge mushroom. Do you think it's as tall as Volandis' Falaran tree? I don't know, but you should stop making fun of the guy who thinks that he's a Sky Armor pilot. kit, which is just sitting here for no reason. Break extender, hard shell. You'd think they would have gotten these treasure chests already in three months. You'd think he would have found it. How long are you going to keep this up, Glenn? You again. Are they the solution to your problem, these kids? You think this is going to make up for anything? I... No, I, I know it's not the solution, but it's the only thing I can do right now. That's not true. You could 
shut up. Why should I listen to you? You don't even tell me who you are or what you want or why I'm able to hear your voice. These kids, your voice. Maybe I'm just starting to go crazy. That must be it. I, I'm tired. <laughs> A new day. Can I really stay here any longer? Finally found you. Sir Victor. So this is where you spent the last three months. Pretty lonely place. How are you doing? I'm okay. I guess. Compared to where I was three months ago. But tell me, why are you here? Just visiting an old friend and... Ah, forget it. Truth be told, I'm here because our battle isn't over yet. And we need you, Glenn. Taran will not stop using the grimoire against humanity. Lenny, Rob, Bethraz, even Sienna, they're still on our side. We're not done with our mission yet, so come with me. What is a good-for-nothing like me going to be able to do for you? I've seen your fighting skills in a sky armor. You defeated your opponents effortlessly. Then you must have also seen me destroy an entire swath of land as well. Glenn, it was terrible indeed. But do you want to hide here for the rest of your life? Are you going to keep running away from the truth? Running away from the truth. No. I've been thinking for the last three months and I've come to a conclusion. You know, when the grimoire first exploded by my sword, I wasn't to blame. And since I wasn't, I was able to hide in a hut for a year and try to push the images out of my head. I didn't know it to anyone to do anything. Now the situation is different. I can't deny the guilt and it weighs heavily on me. I would love to pay for my mistake with my life, but that's not possible. My life doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to the deceased. So, does that mean... Even though I would like to hide from the world, I can't do that. I have to go out and help the people. I owe it to the dead. Then you'll come with me? I'm not sure. I want to do good, but I'm not sure your path is the right way. We can stop a weapon of mass destruction. You can't do any better than that to help the people out there. I... I know that, but... I'm afraid of making another mistake. I can't carry any more weight. I don't see how this was a mistake. You had to try to get the Grand Grimoire, and then it was shot out of your hands by these people. But you're not carrying the burden alone, Glenn. Back then, we all made the decision to steal the Grimoire together. We're all to blame for what happened, and that's why we have to make it right. Together, come with us where I can also make it clear that the person who's really responsible are the people who shot at it. So fate is giving me another chance, huh? Could you give me a moment? Sure thing, I'll wait outside. Are you going to abandon us? I'm, I'm not abandoning you. <laughs> then you have to stay here. We need you. You need me, but, but you're not even real. That's a lie. You're nothing but an illusion of my mind. Oh, really? If I stay here any longer, I'll only go crazier. Look at me, I'm either talking to ghosts or a voice inside my head. We need you. Do you? No, it's the other way around, isn't it? You don't need me, I need you. You're the lie I live with here. Because of you, we don't have any parents anymore. Because of you, we're alone. It's your fault, you killed them. Back then, after the disaster, I needed something to take the burden off of me. I needed a way to earn the forgiveness of the dead. I needed you. But now Sir Victor has given me the opportunity to make a difference. I'm scared to no end, but... I don't know if I totally believe this transformation. You can't get rid of us. We'll come after you, no matter where you go. We'll remind you of your crime every step of the way. They're gone. Reasonable decision. Well, I've still got you, I guess. Wow. All he needed was Sir Victor for it all to cover. Here, have some chocolate. Thank you, mister. Sir Victor. 
Ah, Glenn, there you are. You can see the child? Huh? Oh, where'd he go? Well, I can't see him anymore. She, she, she. Kids these days are surely fast. I don't, I don't know, Miranda. It was not telegraphed earlier. Although, I guess somebody mentioned they had not seen these kids that he kept talking about. But to me, the interesting thing there is the fact that Victor just saw them. But how? Glenn? Ah. Sir Victor, I've made my decision. I'm coming with you. I want to face the truth. She, she, she. Excellent, Glenn. The first step is the hardest. You should be proud of yourself. We will stop the Grand Grimoire together. Ah. That's... That's X-200 O Sky Armors. Models Paris, Merlin, Agamemnon, and Ovelia. Are they ours? She, she, she. It wasn't cheap, but I knew you'd be happy. Sir Victor didn't spare any effort. He was sure they would persuade you to come with us. Sienna? You're really helping Sir Victor? She sought me out of her own accord and offered to help. Can you believe that? She, she, she. I can believe that... I can believe that she's faking this out. Do not trust. No trust, Sienna. I offer my airship and myself as a capable fighter and pilot to our cause. Isn't that a great deal? And most surprising, she didn't want anything in return. She, she, she. Sure, just laugh at my generosity. I'll get my paycheck somehow. Worst case, you'll have our gratitude. Wonderful. I wonder what shops I'll be able to spend this gratitude of yours at. It's not Donald. Skyser is not safely parked. But Thraz, so you're still supporting us too. We have a contract to abide by, don't we, Victor? That's right. He dances to my tune, and you know I'm a pretty musical kind of guy. She, she, she. Get in the Sky Armors. The Himmelskyser is parked atop Mount Rydell beyond Terran's watching eyes. We will use the airship to pay a visit to Lady Bran in New Wernshire. We need a bit of help from her for our venture. I'll explain it to you in detail later, Glenn. Let's go. So here I go on another journey. I hope it's the right decision. Okay, once inside a sky armor, you can press RB again to fly up in the sky, LB to descend to ground level. While switching back from fly mode into hover mode, some internal parts of the sky armors are exposed making them vulnerable. Because of this, you cannot land directly on enemies in high grass that could entangle into the gear or on water. However, once already in hover mode, you can hover over water on the same level or through high grass. Wait. I sure do need something. I sure diddly diddly do. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> the adventurer's vest. I still need to uh, transfer that stuff over, though. Uh, that is considerably better. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I agree, uh, Marinda. Gold ore. Whoa. Leather breastplate. Oh, that is considerably better than what he's wearing.
Okay. What do we got? We've got leg sweep. Leg sweep. Weak to fire, huh? Fire shot. Ow. Poison salvo. Uh, oh, you can repair all. Six, six, six. Nope. Sweep the leg. Ouch. Salvo. Need repair all. Charge. I need to get into the Now we're out of overheat, which means it's time for Piercer. We got bushy eyelashes because of course we did. So we'll be playing for about another five minutes or so, Chad, and then I've got to uh, give way at 4 p.m. Um, because at 5 o'clock, I'm going to be over on my channel with some Shire Adventures today. Um, definitely, if you are into the work of Professor Tolkien and uh, tabletop roleplay, you should stop by my channel. No one else is going to be on GogCon tonight after me, so you should stop by there. And then later on this evening after that at 9 p.m. Eastern, I will be on my channel with my amazing voice team, the Our Vocalists playing more of Citizen Sleeper. We are heading into the home stretch of that game, um, and that is a GOGCOM game, so you should definitely check out uh, that um, with us. I'd love to see you all there. Okay. Steal stuff. Let me try this. Um, let's see. Week two, I think that's light. has been broken.
there. Remember, you can't land in high grass near enemies and on water. Alright, this will be the last fight of the day. Okay. Salvo, let's go. Ow. Ow again. Nice. Sir. Scale armor. Ooh. Okay, that's better. A robust coat. I'm getting all of this awesome equipment. That's even better. Fight these guys, get in the cave, and we will call it a day. So, let's see. Let's, um... Charge that. Should have defensive broken. Piercer. Lenny, Rob, are you all right? What are you doing here? You were supposed to wait at the Himmelskaiser. There you are. Well, if Sienna hadn't parked on top of the nest of a Cortara condor, we would have. We had to flee when the condor returned. Haku stayed behind. Glenn? You... 
You've joined us. Who would have guessed it? I knew it from the very beginning. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Is this how you see me? What are you saying? We know your heart is in the right place. After everything that's happened? Ha! Listen. We all made the decision together three months ago, so get over yourself. You probably think you can take all the blame, but we have our share in this too. We carry the guilt together. Especially since it wasn't our fault in the first place, but the people who were trying to use it against us. Rob, thank you. I, I don't need any thanks. She, she, she. Well then, let's not leave Hako alone with the Cortara Condor for too long. He'll end up killing it, and we know how in danger that bird is. Together on a new adventure, shall we, Glenn? Yes. What is this feeling? I can't fight this feeling anymore. I remember it from a long time ago. I felt the same when I was accepted into the band of the Iron Bull. Yes, that's it. It feels good to have comrades again. It does indeed, but first, we need to fix this formation, and then that's going to be that. Okay, so, uh, Victor, okay, we need Glenn, Lenny, Sienna, Victor, oh, it would be with Killian, but there is no Killian anymore because that jerk. Okay, uh, let's see. Bethraz. Right. And then Rob would be... Yeah, probably these two. Okay. Okay. Out here. Mount Rydell. This will be a good place to save it. Ooh, not awesome music, too. Hover over water on the same ground level. Yeah, thanks. Too. Nice. All right. Well, we got the gang back together again, all. We got the gang back together again, which is good. Um, we are now, uh, let's see, 23 hours, 42 minutes in. And we have finished Act 1, and we have made some serious progress. We got a couple of other achievements as well. So that's good. We uh, have made some good progress on Chain Echoes, and we will do more of this, but not right now, because right now what I need to get go do, blah, blah, I can speak. What I need to do right now is... And I will restart that. What I'm going to need to do right now is I have got to... And this. I have got to uh, get ready for um, my uh, game that I'm going to be playing over on my channel, uh, which is going to be Shire Adventures, um, which is going to be coming up at 5 p.m. Eastern. So I hope... Uh, that people will stop by um, and will check out uh, Shire Adventures at 5 p.m. If you like tabletop role-playing, uh, Professor Tolkien and things like that, then I think you'll want to stop by and check this out. Otherwise, I will be back uh, on this channel next week, Tuesday, uh, for more Pen and Pixels, but I will be here at 4.15 p.m. Eastern folk, uh, as we continue with D&D &D with GOG Ghosts of Saltmarsh. We've been off for almost two months because of illness and things like that, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into that, that groove. So that that's going to be happening uh, next week, Tuesday at 4.15 p.m. Eastern, and then more Chain Decos to come uh, next month. But uh, that's what we're looking at. But I will be on my channel now with some Shire Adventures at 5 p.m. Eastern, and then tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, also on my channel with the uh, GOG game of um, uh, Citizen Sleeper with my voice team, the amazing Our Vocalist. You'll definitely want to stop by for that. If you like what you saw and heard, please follow us here on GOGCOM's Twitch channel. Please make sure to subscribe to us here on GOGCOM's Twitch channel. And uh, 
uh, please as well check out um, and our individual channels because we have our own individual Patreons and subsystems and stuff like that. Uh, and I think that I close up shop today for GogCom. I don't think anyone else is on the channel today. Darksaber will be back at you tomorrow with something cool and new. But otherwise, I hope I'll see you over on my channel in just about an hour from now. Um, otherwise, thanks everyone for being here. Uh, Love Chain Deco has been having fun with all of you folks. And thank you for joining me for episode 368 of Pen and Pixels uh, and Chained Echoes. Um, everyone, please be good to each other, and I'll catch you folks soon. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and bye for now.